he is making waves at his new South Florida mansion. We're talking about Lionel Messi, the soccer star, buying a waterfront mansion in Fort Lauderdale for almost $11 million. So joining us now for more on the cultural and economic significance of this move is Bloomberg's Jennifer Epstein and Miami Bureau Chief Felipe Marquez. Jennifer, I'm going to start with you because you cover real estate. Give us a just, you know, this is now real. We all have real estate envy, I think, on some level. Give us the details of what this property looks like. Yeah, so this is a eight bedroom uh, spread that's waterfront in Fort Lauderdale within about a 15 minute drive of the stadium uh, where Inter Miami plays. So he's going to have a short commute. Uh, a waterfront view while he's there, eight bedrooms for his kids, his family. Um, and he also already owns a couple of condos closer to Miami. So he'll have plenty of places to send his visiting family if he doesn't want them in that house. Um, but it all just kind of adds up to there being uh, plenty of room for him and then his family to enjoy uh, life in South Florida. Okay, so life in South Florida. Felipe Marquez, you've been covering uh, the arrival of Lionel Messi and the, the lead up to it. Uh, how has Lionel Messi's arrival in South Florida changed the property uh, landscape, changed the economic landscape of Miami, which already was thriving because of the pandemic? I mean, I would say uh, with Messi, you're feeling effects in not only Miami, but you're also feeling effects in other cities in the U.S. I mean, when he played in New York, tickets sold out in minutes. When he played in Texas, tickets sold out in minutes. So he has, he commands a real following that's translating into economic consequences. I mean, look at Apple. There's some early signs that Apple's subscription base for, for the MLS product that they have has picked up because of Messi. Mm -hmm. And obviously in South Florida, you have the more, like, let's say, quaint effects, right? The, the amount of like Argentinian restaurants that have, that have Messi-themed decorations or that have, I don't know, Messi-themed event has gone up substantially over the past couple of weeks, especially because the team has done so well. Is there any sense here as to what the carry through is going to be from the impact? I mean, obviously, we know he's not going to play uh, forever, and certainly you can enjoy the time that he's there here. Uh, but what's next? What happens when uh, at some point he moves on? I think this is a very important question because we've seen before players like uh, David Beckham, like Pelé in the past, trying to make soccer in the U.S. a big sport or trying to elevate the profile of soccer. Messi has had a lot more impact than maybe some were expecting at the beginning, but the question is how prevalent is that going to be? I have interviewed a couple of months ago the man who brought him to Miami, the billionaire behind his team, and he says a key part of this is going to be creating a culture of young talent and help like having Messi in the team, bringing you younger talent that will keep feeding the league, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. it remains to be seen if that will actually happen, right? Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, I am curious here just about the, uh, the economic uh, sustainability of the purchase itself. I mean, I mean, we know he has the money. It doesn't really matter here. But I mean, when we have these types of mega mansions at these prices, do those things hold their value? Well, this one actually sold for about $9 million just a, a little over a year ago. So mm. um, the sellers, you know, made some money on it really quickly. Yeah. Um, I Did think, they actually fix anything up? Did they just... I don't think that there was that much that was changed in that time. I okay. think that was May 2022. So okay. they did a quick flip. Uh, yeah. This was off market. Yeah. Um, so I watch good... a lot of HDTV and I <laughs> see them do these these flips where they just put in you know, like new curtains. And, yeah, no, you know, I, I don't. I don't. Price tag. <laughs> and then they, I, then they sell, I think yeah. there's usually more done at this price tag or yeah. nothing at all because, you yeah. know, when when buyers come in at $10 million price tag or higher, they generally want to do things their way. They don't they're going to rip out what's yeah. already in there anyway. They're not going to want uh, you know, sometimes the penthouses that are, go for, you know, 50 million, 100 million dollars in new construction buildings in New York, sometimes they're delivered as empty boxes so that because they, the developers know that any kitchen they put in is just going to be ripped out again. Uh, and that that is just sort of the way a lot of this works. And so I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, maybe Messi doesn't move into this place right away, does some work to it uh, to make it yeah. his and his wife's and family's taste and, and then moves in.